the night of the incident with Donna, Kenny Morgan had peeked in a couple windows down the road from there. The description that we got from the complainants was identical to what Donna gave us of Kenny Morgan. We contacted some of our informants trying to find Kenny Morgan. He was in Baltimore City. Two detectives went and they walked up on the house and he was sitting right there watching television. I mean, he said, I've been waiting for you. Kenneth Morgan told us everything that happened. Hey, aren't you Debbie's sister? Yeah, Debbie's my sister. I'm having some trouble with my car. You think you can help me for a minute? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not supposed to leave the store, it's policy. So he walks back in the store again. Hey, I could really use your help out here. I just need someone to start it, you know, one way or the hood. <laughs> That's what it felt like. It felt like a plank. And I just curled up like a fetus. He was face to face with me. And he starts crying on the phone. Anytime you call into communications, it automatically tells you what phone number you're calling from. Doctors both think that I should be free from anything exciting. So no violent physical exercise, just complete rest. Likes to take people hunting and fishing, builds character and puts food on your table. Maybe fishing would be better for you. Unless, of course, the gators decide to give you troubles. I have this letter for you. This person to have seen her alive. They found a friend who tells them the night of December 17th, Heather went on a date with Stephen Chiraldi. He's 22 years old. He worked as a line cook at a restaurant called The Wicked Tuna. He went to high school with Heather, and so they kind of knew each other. This is the story he told police. Stephen reaches out to Heather via social media. He didn't really know her in school, but he was attracted to her, so he asked her to go on a date. You, out of the car now or I'll kill her! Five. Four. Three. Two. Good. Who told you I was here? The doctor? I should have known. I don't flesh and blood. Brad, you need them. They can still fix you. Fix me? Why would they want to fix me? They don't want to fix something that's not broken in them. They know exactly what they did. You need to go back and do this last job, okay? Then you're out. If I don't lose this, what then? What the heck was that about? I'm sorry, Dylan. Why would you let that play out? You know me better than that. I have to follow protocol, you know that. Well. 
I'm not going to let you off the hook that easy. Well, maybe this will help. No, no, wait. I call my friend Katie. Uh, Katie, um, the one from high school? Yeah. Okay, it's been like five years. What does she have to say? Well, she invited us to this life group meeting, and there's one later this week, so you want to go? Okay. So the purpose of this life group meeting is to talk about life? Oh, are you vegetarian? It's not much, but I have some leftover salad. No, sir, Sam. We have a very specific diet. We only eat things that start with P. What? Uh, why is that? Well, it's just that when Joe and I first met, we went to a restaurant that only served items that start with P, and we like to honor that. We've been on this diet for 25 years now. Can't break it or our love will die out. That's true love right there. It is? Yeah, it's a symbol of dedication. You know what? This isn't steak. Lily makes it with pepper. It's peppered steak.